in some of these competition festivals, but as far as like the public, I have no uh, idea how the public's gonna respond to it. You know, it's so funny, and it reminded me a little bit of Ted Danson's show Becker that he did a, a number yes, of years ago. Yes, a long time ago, I barely remember. Yeah, yeah. it reminded yeah. me a little of that, but having Becca, everything revolves around Becca, Becca yeah. as everything should. Yeah. Well, it's Becca is the name of the pilot, but it's what I'm hoping to create from it is that we'll have individual story arcs from each of the actors, each of the characters, because they're all their little quirky, everybody, that's the, the premise of it is everybody's trying to launch their dream job, but they don't have their dream job, so they're working in this clinic. So it starts off with Becca, she's kind of the, the launcher, but I, what I'm really hoping to do is launch those individual characters. And of course, I just, I love the dreamer with the bare feet in, in the clinic. Yeah. That just, yes, yeah, the tiki bar owner, he wants to be the tiki bar owner. Yes, in the South Pacific, or else just go to the South Pacific. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a tiki yeah. bar owner. I think those those little little you know chirons are just adorable yes. and just add just so much. Yeah, the backstory. Yeah. Then you really see, then you really see the misery. Yes. What they have to do because they have to make a living, and that often happens with everybody. They have a dream job that they want to do, but they have to make a living. So what can they get, or what is their family forcing them to do? Which is like with Becca, her dad. That's the doctor, so she has to work in the medical clinic because that's the only job she's going to get with her skill set. So, yeah. Oh no! I mean, I think the casting is amazing. I mean, it's a great ensemble you put together. Yeah, a, a lot of them I had actually worked with in a studio, and uh, or I had worked with on. Um, in an office setting, but I knew they were all very creative. I had worked with every single one of them, um, and I knew what they, they were able to bring to the table as far as, and that's how I wrote each and every individual character was according to how they spoke, how they talked. So it was very easy for them to become that character because it was essentially an extension of who they were. Well, and that's what I love because each one, it sounds like they were each writing their own dialogue. It, yes. it wasn't one voice scripting. Yes, it was when that's how I wrote it, was because I knew how all of them talked. Because I had worked with them before, right? They were, some of them were really close friends of mine, so I knew how they would say something, so I would write it according to them. But I also said when we would get on the set, don't, you don't have to say this word for word. If if you get stuck, stay close to that script. But if you want to say something, go for it. And so they might have, you know, added a little flair, or added this or added that. And I wanted it to be close to who they were. You know, that they were they're coming as themselves. But in, in that respect, it very much had a mash flair to it. Yeah, oh, thank you. Very, very much. It, you know, it felt like, you know, like when Karen Hall came in on MASH as a writer decades ago. She was a college student. She wrote a script and sent it, and Alan Alda liked it. And, that, and she ended up as a story editor on the show. Yeah. But with the distinctive voices. Yes. And that's what I see with Becca on call, and I think it's fabulous. Oh, well, thank you. It's Well, it's really great to hear because you are, you are literally the first of the public that's actually seen it. So I'm really excited to see how a group will react to it. Uh, the, it's just 22 minutes. What the from the individuals that I did send it to, they were like, "We want more! We oh, want yeah. more!" Especially as soon as it ended, I was ready for the next, for the next episode. episode. Yeah. yeah, which is written, by the way. It is written. It's ready to go. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Janessa, thank you so much. I'm so glad you came waiting and yes. looking for me. Yeah, I was. I was like.
Okay, where is she? Here, here I am. Here I am. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thank you. Yeah, Such thank a pleasure. You.